From real life celebrities to Hollywood to your hometown, this is Celebrity Page TV. We're keeping you informed on everything happening in the world of entertainment. I'm Sonia Isabel, still coming to you from our New York City newsroom. James Vaughn and the rest of our crew are safe and working remotely. Here's what's ahead on today's episode. We're bringing The Office to your living room. Kate Flannery and Creed Bratton are telling us all about their time on the beloved sitcom. And Carrie Washington talks the little Hulu show that's making some big noise. More on her new hit, Little Fires Everywhere. And later, we're rounding out some of the top music moments of the month. We're so glad you're with us. So let's kick things off with what's making headlines. We're checking in with Us Weekly's Christina Garibaldi for all the latest. Christina, we're so happy you're joining us via Skype. What stories are you following? Thank you. So happy to be here with you guys. We have a lot of news to get to, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. As we told you a couple of weeks ago, things were a little bit strained between the two of them with everything going on with the coronavirus, like many couples. But we hear things that are getting a little bit worse and that Kim may need some space from Kanye. We hear that she needs, um, that she's having a lot of hard time, you know, dealing with four kids, studying for her law school, kind of juggling all of her work commitments. And Kanye's not really stepping up to the plate. But don't worry. They're not splitting up. They're not getting a divorce. We hear that she's sticking it out. She's staying together for the kids, and they're going to make it through it, just like the rest of us. Um, while Kim and Kanye may be having some marriage troubles, it seems like her sister, Khloe Kardashian, may be giving another chance to Tristan Thompson. Yes, this is after he cheated on her when she was nine months pregnant. You know, cheated on her yet again with Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Woods. But you know what? Third time might be a charm. Uh, Chloe and Tristan are quarantining together at her home in Los Angeles, and a source tells us that they are very much acting like a couple, and that Tristan has really stepped up to the plate with their daughter, True. So only time will tell if these two will really give it another chance. All right, Christina, as always, thanks so much. And for more stories like these, be sure to pick up the latest issue of Us Weekly and follow them on social media for updates. Well, a lot of us are stuck at home right now, but that doesn't mean things around us aren't constantly changing, especially in the music industry. We're checking in with Music Choices' Damon Williams for the latest via Skype. All right, Damon, what can we expect this month? Hey, Sonia, good to see you again. Well, a lot of conversations with our major record label friends have applied that we're going to continue to see a lot of new music releases pushed back to the end of the year or even until 2021, along with concert and tour dates. Now, some good news is some artists like the comedic band Hot Country Nights are still pumping out albums we love. We chatted a bit with their lead singer, Doug, who is the alter ego of Dirks Bentley, to get some details on their new album, The K Is Silent. The greatest country music of all time, the greatest fiddle playing, the greatest steel playing, the greatest lead singer, entertainer, the greatest dance moves. Pick her up in a pickup truck. Reusing the word pick her up. You pick her up in a pickup truck. Nobody's writing songs like that. Wrangler Danger, Mull It Over. Just a few of the gems in this album. Check it out. This month, we also got a mixtape collabo from Chris Brown and Young Thug, plus a new mixtape from Little Dirt. Weezer Drop Hero, and we got an album must hear from Kalani called It Was Good Until It Wasn't. And anything else you can share with us? Well, like I said, despite a lot of delays, yeah, you'll have to wait for the new Weezer, and you'll have to wait on the new Bon Jovi. There's still some good stuff on the horizon. Today, Charlie XCX dropped her new album, How I'm Feeling Now, plus look out for the 1975's Notes on a Conditional Forum. Finally dropping next week after a number of delays, it's Lady Gaga's Chromatica. It's set to drop May 29th, so we are really relieved we didn't have to wait too long for Gaga to drop and for that album to come out. All right, thank you, Damon. And for more on your favorite artists, be sure to download the Music Choice app or you can find Music Choice channels on cable systems and DirecTV nationwide. Now here's the latest edition of our See Her Celebrity Spotlight. Each week, our See Her Celebrity Spotlight series celebrates women in entertainment who are bringing talent and authenticity to the roles they take on and off screen. Led by the Association of National Advertisers, See Her is the leading global movement for gender equality in ads and media. If you can see her, you can be her. Well, this week we're highlighting one of TV's top powerhouses, Kerry Washington. The star recently turning heads with her role in Little Fires Everywhere, but there's even more beneath the surface. It's today's See Her Spotlight. She's been lighting up the small screen. We all have parts that scare us. Carrie Washington's stunning viewers with her recent Hulu hit, Little Fires Everywhere. The actress playing opposite Hollywood golden girl Reese Witherspoon and the pair making for one dynamic duo. I know about your little secret. Are you threatening me? 
Carrie taking on the role of Mia, a bold and strong-willed artist who marches to the beat of her own drum. She's a really interesting character for me because she doesn't apologize for who she is. She really holds her own space in the world and she isn't afraid to let people be or feel uncomfortable around her. But one thing's for sure, Carrie's no different. I think I have always been, I think my mother would vouch for this, and I've always been a person with a lot of opinions and a person who's wanted to contribute to the environments that I'm in. The star initially beginning that contribution, playing Olivia Pope in the widely acclaimed Shondaland drama Scandal. I took Melly back. I am now her chief of staff, and you are now our prisoner. I spent all those episodes standing in the front of a conference room saying like, it's my name on that door and, and being in charge of all of those people, even for pretend. I wanted to be able to have a voice and be a contributing factor to the success of the work that I was doing. Well, you've done it, Carrie, and we can't wait to see how you continue to make your voice heard. For more information, go to SeeHer.com or visit at SeeHer2020. You know them as Meredith and Creed from one of the most famous sitcoms of all time. Of course, we're talking about The Office, and they're joining us now to talk a bit about their new campaign in support of the Variety Boys and Girls Club, an organization dedicated to helping underprivileged kids. It's Kate Flannery and Creed Bratton. Hey, guys, so tell us a bit about the campaign. We're basically asking people to donate, and um, we're going to pick a person who donates to actually have a virtual coffee date uh, with the cast of the, with a few people from the office. But basically, the deal is is that um, uh, the the variety club uh, actually feeds the kids, so we want everybody to donate so these kids can have some food in their stomachs. Now, the office is celebrating its 15th anniversary. What does it mean to you both to have been a part of a show that meant so much to so many people? Well, it's a it was a life changer, changed all of our lives. We had a new family that I, that I look forward to going to work every day. Not only just everything else about it, but I just think the camaraderie. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. We're so lucky because people actually still care to the point where they're eat, sleeping, and breathing the office. And um, it's just so nice to be a part of something that you can turn on every once in a while, catch some of it, and it's still funny and still relevant. That never happens in this business. That's so true. And you've had some pretty amazing guest stars from Amy Adams to Kathy Bates. Was there anyone that you were especially excited to work with? I, I was super excited about James Spader because I'd heard he had a photographic memory. It's no bull. He can just do it. He can do it. I actually loved um, Will Ferrell. Um, I knew Will a little bit when I lived in New York. You know, Will is hilarious, and that was really awesome to get to do a bunch of episodes with Will. And I know it might be tough to choose, but do either of you have a favorite episode of all time? For myself, obviously, I got to, when I got to play my song my, for the finale, that was a big one for me, uh, personally, you know. But uh, I think, oh gosh, Survivor Man, when, when uh, Dwight and, and Michael are out in the woods, you know, I laughed. I just took tears came down my face. Definitely favorites of mine, too. All right, thanks so much for joining us, guys. And for a chance to win a digital coffee date with these two, go to omaze.com slash The Office. Still to come on Celebrity Page TV, Vivica A. Fox dishes on her new movie with Vince Vaughn and Liam Hemsworth. That's next on Celebrity Page TV. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. On the next Celebrity Page TV, we're one-on-one -on -one with Dennis Quaid, plus Kathy Ireland, big stars, big Hollywood, Celebrity Page TV. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Kids will be kids, which just goes to say, kids will be curious. They get into everything, everything. If there's a loaded firearm in the house, they could get their hands on that too. 
Keeping firearms locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition in a place inaccessible to kids can help keep your loved ones safe from family fire. Safe gun storage saves lives. Well, from acting to producing and even podcasting, Vivica A. Fox is always on her game, and now she's starring in a new movie alongside Vince Vaughn and Liam Hemsworth. It's today's Inside Story. And you should never stop wanting to pursue something that you've always wanted to do. That's Mary Wilson of The Supremes chatting with Vivica on her new podcast, Hustling with Vivica A. Fox. To get a legend like Mary Wilson was such a... So, but it's all due to personal relationships. Vivica offering important advice to help listeners take control of their own lives. This is from Stage 29 Production Podcast, um, which I am so grateful because my podcast is uncensored and unfiltered. So it is real and it's real raw. You can stream Hustling with Vivica A. Fox on all podcast platforms. And Vivica is taking over our screens in not one, but two new on-demand movies. Working with these guys was an amazing experience for me. A young thief teams up with Vivica and the police to bring down criminals in Rev. The action movie is available now on DVD, digital, and on demand. I've been thinking about streamlining. You can't do that. We do a whole bunch we're not supposed to do. And she's starring alongside Vince Vaughn and Liam Hemsworth in Arkansas. It's kind of like Napoleon Dynamite meets uh, New Jack City. I mean, it was just a feat all in itself. We love the hustle, Vivica. Arkansas is available to watch at home now. All right, now we're checking in with Ranker.com for a look at Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and what else is watchworthy. If you're a big fan of the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, you probably already know there's a new movie out on Netflix that wraps up the story of the smart and snappy comedy from 30 Rock creators Tina Fey and Robert Carlock. The movie is titled Kimmy vs. The Reverend, and it's an interactive experience that allows users to make choices for the characters that change how the story plays out. But if you aren't already a fan of the show, you'll have to watch all four seasons to get caught up before watching the movie. How do you know if this show is worth your precious time? Watchworthy can tell you just just how likely it is that you'll love Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. One big sign that Kimmy Schmidt is the show for you is if you're a fan of Schitt's Creek. Fans of one show are nine times more likely to love the other, and that's hardly surprising. They both put tons of effort into creating lovable, outlandish characters while still managing to pack every episode with plenty of punchlines. If you're a fan of both story and side-splitting comedy, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is definitely watchworthy for you. Another show that Kimmy Schmidt fans love is Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, the groundbreaking musical comedy about a very reasonable woman who makes the not-so-reasonable choice to quit her job and move across the country for her high school ex-boyfriend. Both these shows love to skewer sexist tropes in television, and they both have a bright, exciting look, so it's no wonder the two also have a ton of fans in common. Then there's Pin 15, the Hulu coming-of-age comedy. People who like Kimmy Schmidt are eight times more likely to also love Pin 15. This pitch-perfect portrayal of what middle school was really like for people who grew up in the 2000s is a great match for Kimmy Schmidt. A very timely and topical comedy that is sure to resonate with millennial viewers who are now all grown up. There are plenty of other shows that tend to share fans with Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, including Grace and Frankie, Easy, and Difficult People. To find out how exactly Watchworthy Kimmy Schmidt is for you, download the Watchworthy app. So take out your phone, go to the App Store, and search for Watchworthy to find your next binge. Beverly Hills 90210 transformed the television landscape with its youthful cast and heartfelt stories. This week, Reel sits down with the show's cast and crew who open on why their show almost got canceled. It's all this Sunday on Behind Closed Doors, and we've got your exclusive first look. Every week we thought we were going to get canceled, so we didn't care about, uh, uh, you know, we just wanted to do the scenes, wanted to do them as best as we could do them. And, um, and we just kept thinking, yeah, the axe will fall tomorrow, so let's have fun today. We were really talking about canceling it because the ratings were so poor. What happened is actually kind of humorous. What we concluded was that we couldn't cancel it because we didn't have anything to replace it with. Our cupboard was essentially bare, and that's how genius is born in Hollywood. We left it on the air because we had to. But then in early 1991, the country is rocked by the first Gulf War. Fox didn't have a news division, and so people were probably sick of hearing about the war, and they tuned in to 90210. 
according to Rosen. Because of this war, when the ratings came back in February, all of a sudden, we are having 750,000 new viewers every episode, which was unheard of. All of a sudden, a show that had been pretty much critically maligned on the bubble of cancellation for since its, its start, all of a sudden is, is making some noise. We'll be watching for more as Natalie Morales hosts Beverly Hills Behind Closed Doors Sunday night on Reels. Up next, housewife royalty Luann Deliceps on her cabaret stardom. That's next on Celebrity Page TV. Queen is just my everything. Right now, I wouldn't know where my life would be without her. They say chivalry's dead is not. Terrence is a gentleman. He opens doors. His smile did it. His smile, his eyes, his knowledge. My landlord, he decided that he wanted me to move based on the fact that I was transgender. It takes me to a place of no hope. It takes me to a place of loneliness. It just, it saddens me. When you discriminate against somebody in housing, where do these people go? Let's just respect people in everyday life for just being human. Welcome back to the show. I'm James Vaughn in Las Vegas. Sonia Isabel's in New York City, and you're watching Celebrity Page TV. Well, most of us haven't even put on jeans in weeks, but some stars are still on their fashion game. Sports Illustrated model Hunter McGrady is launching a new clothing line, and she's telling our Hollywood insider, Arthur Cade, all about it. Let's talk about the clothing line. First of all, congratulations. There's not a better partner to have in the business in QVC. How did all this come together for you? I've been passionate about creating and fashion since I was 16 years old. And I dream of a world where I can go and shop with all my girlfriends of every size. My line is sizes um, extra, extra small to 5X, size zero to 36. So to contribute to that dream and do so with a partner like QVC, it's a dream come true. And they've really given me, you know, the the reins to, to design things that I've, I want to design. But the entrepreneur is still staying true to her roots as she graces the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue for the fourth time. Being part of this legendary franchise, how has it changed you both personally and professionally? Personally, I feel like each year I'm in the issue, I grow more and more in love with who I'm becoming. But now here I am four years later, I have a clothing line that just launched yesterday. I have a few more endeavors that I can't quite talk about yet, but it's been just a wild and wonderful ride. And now Hunter using her platform to spread body positivity. We're all worthy of feeling beautiful, of feeling empowered and confident um, at every single size. And I think that message is, some, is a message that a lot of people need to hear, especially right now. Keep up the positive work, Hunter. For Celebrity Page in New York City, I'm Arthur Cade. The new season of Real Housewives of New York is now underway on Bravo, but that's not the only thing keeping Luann Deliceps busy. She also has a thriving music career, as she told us during a recent chat on Zoom. Luann Deliceps is lighting up the stage, the housewife recently adding cabaret star to her resume, and she told us how it all began. I created a show because I loved to entertain, I loved to sing for my friends, and I loved to tell jokes. I always thought of it as a cabaret show, but I didn't realize that there was like a void in the cabaret world when I created it. Love is more than just a game to Once the pandemic ends, Luann will take on her newest show, and it's got a unique title. I got my inspiration for the new show, Mary F. Kill, by my audience, because I do a Q&A with the audience, and every time I do a show, somebody in the audience asks me who I would marry, who I'd F, and who I'd kill. And it's generally some of the housewives, and sometimes I get, you know, Harry, Tom, and Jack, and so, you know, it was my inspiration. So um, that's the premise of the new show. It's really more about sex and relationships, and it's a lot naughtier. Last season, fellow Real Housewife Sonia Morgan even joined her on stage. 
But Luann telling us which housewife she's got her sights set on next. Probably Lisa Renna because she's such a good dancer. And while not everyone will agree, life is not a cabaret. Luann still sticks by her motto. Life is a cabaret because, listen, you write your own story. You write your own script. So depending on how you want your cabaret show to go, life is a cabaret. <laughs> When we come back, Kim Petras talks her new song, Malibu, next on Celebrity Page TV. Let's send things out to our trending producer, Ricky Cornish, for today's music mix. Thank you, Sonia. Well, 2020 hasn't been an easy year, but thankfully, new music has kept me dancing at home. Here are some songs to add to your playlist. <laughs> Who doesn't love a summer bop? Kim Petras bringing beach vibes into our homes with her new song, Malibu. I feel happy that I that I get to put it out during this quarantine because I really feel like it'll it'll lift everybody's spirit even just for like three minutes. I used to have so many Pop Prince Max teaming up with Haley Kiyoko for their soulful jam, Miss Calls. Haley's amazing. We've known each other for a very long time, and, and it's been a long time in the making to create a, a song together like this. One of my favorite DJ duos, Noted, recruiting Astrid S on their new banger, I Don't Know Why. Oh, I don't know why, no, I don't know why, the room keeps shaking. This one, as like always, feels really special to us. <laughs> Shinedown releasing their never-before-heard song, Atlas Falls, to help frontline workers. 100% of the proceeds are going to direct relief. Buy the shirt, you get Atlas as a download. You can donate to the cause at store.shinedown.com. Slides an extra chicken patty on my bun. And here's an exclusive clip of Kate Godfrey's parody of Justin Bieber's hit, Yummy. You can catch more fun sketches on all that May 16th on Nickelodeon. And that's your music mix. Thanks so much for joining us. For the entire Celebrity Page team, I'm Sonia Isabel. We hope to see you back here tomorrow.